Today I'm going to rehouse my Heterotheli gabinensis. Um, I did see this out last night at about 3.45 in the morning. So if you say they're never out, you're just never up at 3.45 in the morning. Um, this is a really fast spider. Uh, this is a dwarf spider uh, from Equatorial Africa, West Coast Africa, the country of Gabon, in a park called Lope. Um, right on the equator. Not even one second. Um, and I don't know. I'm doing some research. It looks like people keep them too wet or too dry. Um, it's an arboreal spider. It lives like four feet off the ground um, in, in tree bark. So I've tried to give it some tree bark here. Um, mostly just substrate for humidity. It's fairly tropical. It's drier than rainforest, but if you look at pictures of it, there is moss growing on the rocks. The ground itself does not look completely dry everywhere. And it's shaded forest. So I'll put a plant on top of the enclosure like I do for other things. And hopefully we'll get to see this thing out. Um, like I say, it's really fast and it's really skittish. I really haven't thought this out. It's down in a burrow right there. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this whole thing and put it down here. Here. Just in case. Come on. Cover this mostly up. figure out how I'm gonna poke it out of there as I was saying this is a really fast spider um, things I were reading liken them to Asian arboreals as far as speed goes um, and I was watching it last night and it does everything fast just when it was walking around its enclosure and webbing up it was like in hyper mode so I really don't want this running away at the same time I want it I don't know maybe I should just leave all that stuff I don't want to though I want to see the spider It's a nanny zoo enclosure. I didn't think I had anything for this spider. I was going to get it a 12 inch cube. And, um, hmm. how am I going to get in there with that? The answer is I'm not. I was going to get it a 12 inch cube and, um, not a 12 inch cube, a four inch cube. But it's over an inch and it's only going to get two inches so I might as well just put it in something just a hair bigger than that that will do it for life. Right. I'm not I'm going to pause this video and then I'm going to show it once I get it out of here because I got to take it out of here. Well. I tried to poke it out of there. I know where it is. It's right in the. 
front of where the camera's looking, but you can't see it. Um, so I'm just going to leave it. I wanted some stuff down there anyway. Um, I wanted it, kind of wanted to steal that fake leaf because this is too small of an enclosure for a real one. So uh, I'm going to leave it alone. I don't want to get it riled up any more than it already is. I'd like it to get comfy and uh, hopefully we can see it soon for a feeding. Thanks for watching.